boys, Zinu Arms here, and welcome to the Phoenix Weekend! Alongside me is the wonderful Cody Smart. Hello! And Elijah Gordon, even though he has his mic muted, but he's here in the booth. Um, alongside, I mean not alongside, bleh, in the car is Danny Voiles and Liam Brock. We will talk to them in a minute with Driver interviews and so uh cody smart phoenix weekend what do you expect to see here well we should expect some tight racing here especially with rewind it usually does not work so expect some big wrecks during these races especially during the first two divisions since we got exactly 42 cars in the field okay um who's gonna dial up the number 26 of Daniel Voiles. Daniel Voiles. This is Daniel Williams in the PCSRI booth. Do you have a copy? Don't shut up! Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, Voiles. Starting in the 21st position, how was your car in practice and qualifying? And do you think you can fix that? If it's bad, then do you think can, you can fix that in the race? I was not happy with the car yesterday. We were just sliding all over the place. But, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. So hopefully our Gatorade uh, Fruit Punch car can get us to the front. And, uh, you know, next week we'll debut our new scheme at Auto Club. So we're looking forward to that. Well, uh, good luck and uh, hope to see you in victory lane. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, I know there's been a lot on your mind, mate. Uh, uh, we're just going to go out there, race uh, very hard, and, uh, you know, this race is for your uh, aunt, great uh, Grandma Hoover. Yes, sir, it is a uh, emotional race. Hopefully, we can get the win. Okay, 10 for mate. Okay, Cody Smart, dial up the number seven of William Brock. All right, I will be dialing in number seven of William Brock. William, you got my copy? Copy that. Okay, so apparently qualifying did not work out for you. And what I mean by work out, I mean by seriously did not work out. What's your strategy today to come up from dead last to dead first? You know, I think the, well, I think the most important strategy for me, you know, trying to stay on the inside, because the inside is definitely definitely the the route to go if you want to get up there to the front so hopefully we can try and stay stay in the inside as long as we can and try to avoid any wrecks all right that sounds good good luck there mr bro appreciate it okay going back to daniel williams as we start up these cars okay time for the most famous words in motorsport Drivers, start your engines! Command has been given. And the drivers will start up their engines. And as the pace car rolls off, make sure everyone rolls off. That looks good. 42 drivers, Robert Oslakia and Marco Diaz on the front row. Asher Reynolds, Keely Rankin, second row. Third row, Cameron Garlington and Eli Bright. Who will win at Phoenix Division 1? It's going to be close. Okay, we are in the restart zone. Green flag is out. And we are racing here at Phoenix. Good start. Equal by both drivers. Looks like Marco Diaz goes wide. We're going to go three wide for the first time today. All over the contact. Here come, they come, down into the dog leg. Out of the dog leg, three wide already. They're going wide out of the corner. Ashley Girls trying to get Rob Dolls like a three wide down in turn number four. Whoa, a little bit of, a little bit of squirrely there, but we keep on rolling. Three That's wide. As we come down to the third turn, Cameron Garlington dives it down low and gets by those two. Runs a little bit wide though, here Troy King slides up the track a little bit and goes three wide. Down the 
front stretch for the fourth for the third time. And they go to turn one. Looks like we have a two-car breakaway with Ashley Reynolds and Robert Oslakia, yeah, but here comes Cameron Garlington trying to catch them, trying to catch them up with them. Daniel Boyle's in the middle of a huge path. Let's hear radio communication with their team. Nice and We got four wide. Take it easy, and we'll be okay, man. Oh. Holy moly! How did they not wreck? Oh, contact a little bit. They save it. I don't know how they did that. Three wide. Andy Boyle's on the bottom. Oh, Eli Bright smacks the wall. Another place where you could get Rex coming out of turn number four. Down the back stretch through the dog leg. Looks like we're still close to double file except for the front. Daniel Royals to the inside with, I believe, teammate Alex uh, Alexandria Van Dam. That's correct. Oh, contact! Annie Thomas straight into the side of Mackenzie Thompson. Mackenzie Thompson, nowhere to go, but Annie Thomas got hooked by someone and went, got flung straight into Mackenzie Thompson. Luckily they saved it. We'll check that replay out when the first caution comes out. William Brock is catching up to him a little bit. Yeah. Good run for William Brock, and here comes Annie Einstein. Down the inside, three wide back there between Philip Parker, Dan Marie, and Alex Hawkins. There's JK, is the defending series champion, up into the 15th position, trying to make up some positions. Yeah, definitely trying to get up to Single file so far up front. We have a three car breakaway. Robert Oslaki is still your leader. He's led all eight laps today. And then we have Cameron Garlington, Ashley Reynolds, and Troy Kang with a four car breakaway. And then we have this tiny pack back here. And then and then all the way back to last place. Side by side. Good to Ooh, still Timothy Grenville back there. Yeah. I almost got turned into Andy, Th Andy Thomas. Ooh, Annie Winters dives down below Nick Perkins. Um, so there's the Manny's girl, the 25 of Lilo Pakai. I know Cody Martin is not saying that name, so I will say it for you. <laughs> oh Lord. I'm gonna go watch yeah, back here a little bit. Ooh, Joseph Movie got wig, got wicked loose in back there, coming off the floor. a few positions. She has lost a position to Cameron Garlington and now she's going to run wide a little bit. Oh, contact! Ew. Oh, there we go! Deanie Rand around! Looks like he landed it to that wreck. Horses out, mate. Horses back. Horses out. Let's race back to the line. That's right. Let's back to the line. And it looks like I'm trying to get his last name right now. Oh, yeah. Robert Oslakia to the lead. Robert Oslakia. Oh. oh problems Zalbakia. for like Heather Galloway. Oh, boy. That's one of those that I know how to pronounce now. <laughs> Heather Galloway with problems. We could see if she too. Well, it looks like she broke down in turn number three, so tough break for her. She might not make it for the rest of this race. Mechanical failure on that car. Not good for the ZL1. Tough break for her. And pit Let's stops see. have happened under caution. Here we go. This can be fun. Let's hear ready communications with William Brock on what they're going to do.
Okay, four tires. Two tires for Voiles. He's out. Let's see if he can possibly come out ahead of these leaders. This might nope. Be Robert Olsen. Okay, that was close, though. Three wide off of pit road. Matt Smith is going to get it. Up for the number six Mercedes. JK's out of there now. It's another three right out of it, bro. Ashley Reynolds with a very slow stop from third all the way back to maybe in the 20s. That is not good. And with how hard Phoenix is to pass and how slow this position can be caught up, Ashley Reynolds, pit crew, might have thrown her out of contention for this one as we got problems with the zero 9 on pit road. As the 01 has fixed the damage. So Ashley Reynolds was third. Now coming off of pit road. <clears throat> this is gonna hurt. From third to might be 19. 29th. Uh, From oh, third wow. to 29th. That is a horrible pit stop by that 14 team. That is not lucky for them. Not what they needed here. Nine, so uh, they, they might. The, I think the Jack might have slipped off the car, and they're trying to get it underneath. So tough break for that zero nine team. Big issues for the zero nine. Chances are they're going to be coming out with one lap down at least. And we're going to go green this time. By and Voiles will do the picks for the next two races. We forgot. So Okay, Daniel, there might be a mechanical failure on the O9. Uh, it may be more than just a jack problem. There might be a engine failure. So problems with that O9 of Marco Diaz. What is Marco Diaz doing? Uh-oh, uh, that might be black flag right there, folks. What was that? I need the driver and the crew chief of the Oak 9 to the PCS re-hauler when the race is over. That's Patrick Watson. Okay, Robert Oslakio, your leader, we are back green here at Phoenix. 15 second time penalty to car 09 for illegal pit exit. Right, not happy with that 2017. Up as a 
positions. What, Cody? I couldn't hear you. Your neck is muffled. Isaiah, I'm going to get back here early enough. Ah. I guess it's the one car. Robert and I think it's Slovakia, like the country Slovakia, but I might be wrong again. What? Easter William Sneaky? Czech Republic, Cody. Oh, Wait a minute, both those are different countries. What does that mean, Elijah? Well, anyway, 34th to be contending for that lead. Oh boy. As we just learned, hey, we're our geography lesson here, folks. Okay, I guess. Uh, we're... Question to the booth people uh, Didn't Morgan Henderson won the previous race at Las Vegas? I don't know, I wasn't there. Yeah. Morgan Harrison tried to go two in a row. Remember, Morgan Harrison won at Las Vegas. That means Morgan Henderson might be an early contender for that championship for Division One. Could be battling with one car. For Whoa! Oh boy! One made a very right turn. That helps Henderson. As you see, Troy King in third. Then you get the zero on P4. Looking back towards the back to see what's happening back there. Yep, looks like everything is fine as of right now. Let's hear radio communications with William Brock and team. Alright, goodbye. You kinda of moving up there slowly but surely. All you gotta do is keep your head up and just stay on the inside line. 10 4. Just hopefully we can get a good finish by the end of the day. 10 4. Oh, yeah. He's certainly catching up. He is actually right ahead of Ashley Reynolds. The job of the hat is the first best stop. William Whoa, Brock! Brock! Looks like, oh boy! But he still might be able to fend off Ashley Reynolds. So, good aggressive move by. 17. Back to the lead here. Morgan Harrison still all over the back of Robert Oslakia. It's all about me. Okay, gotcha. So it's not like the country. Looks like I learned something new today. Like I'll probably learn in the next several weeks about 80 something drivers. Mm. Go feel. Okay, doing good, doing good. You made the progress. I'm having a sunflower seat, that's why you heard me go. Good job, mate. Sometimes You're like currently P6. Nice work. Uh, you got one of the Boyer brothers behind you. Uh, just take it easy. You're doing a good job. And uh, hopefully we can get a good top 10 result and uh, get to uh, Auto Club with confidence. 10-4. Yes, trying to continue the PCS array. Goes West campaign pretty strong as he might be a to the end Looks like not yet. Still gonna try to bend him off though. To try to get a top 10 finish here at Phoenix with about 20 left to go. Okay. Oh, Claudia Perez is in with damage on the right side. There he is to the pits. She! Derp! Wait a minute, who derp? Cody needs to fix your... You need to fix your males and female gender there, bruh. Claudia Perez is a girl. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Don't call me. I can't be derp for nothing. 
All right, well, back to the race. Morgan Henderson still trying to keep up with Robert Ozlaki. Remember, Robert Ozlaki has led all the laps so far. Oh, my goodness. Is it me, or is that one car going to go fishing after he wins the race? Uh, I think he might be going fishing, Ebra. Because uh, he's not going to... I'm glad he's not contaminating the entire field. Oh, God, I hope I didn't jinx it. Caution's you out! Better not. Caution's out! Oh, oh my Caution's out, mate. Oh, we got the 18 Jake there. Hayes is involved! Your defending series champion! Uh, he's actually the defending champion, so nearly any records championship implications almost to this point. But let's see what happened to Jake Hayes. Oh, and the Mercedes got involved too. No one else got involved. But it seems like the damage was significant enough for the Z04 to be into pet road. Might not be too happy. Something was is, is so, something broke on Troy Kang's car. And he was running very great too. Third place at the time when that problem occurred. Tough break for Troy Kang. And then not good for the Korean American, if you ask me. And then. Big Ace runs wide and boom, into the wall they go. And look who's moving up in that process, William Brock. Oh, yeah. Well, um, what do you think of this race so far? Let's start with Daniel Boyles. Okay, Daniel, you're doing a good job, mate. Uh, just try to take it easy. Um, let's try to make sure we avoid carnage and uh, get a top 10 for your... to honor your great-grandma Hoover. 10-4, thank you guys a lot. It's been a really emotional week trying to, trying to focus, especially with the death in the family. Understood, mate. Okay, ready communications with William Brock. All right, good buddy, you started in the, all the way in the back, now you're up in the top 20. Just keep the hammer down and do all you can to get up there. 10-4. Okay, well, that, that's an update with your drivers, and looks like they're not going to pit, so that might be the last pit stop. Okay, so, uh... I can't think of anything to talk about. Um, <clears throat> actually, I'll bear it back. So, um, Cody Smart, it's up to you. So, apparently, we're waiting for the one to go. And we are watching Robert Slovakia, who is currently your leader. Morgan Henderson is in second. Then so it's correct you, sir, Boyer but that is not third. his last name. It is Oslakia. Robert Oslakia. Oslakia. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> As I get warmer and warmer by the race. <laughs> it's Oslakia. Oslakia. God. That makes it driver number 15 right now if you get successfully. <laughs> And there's still so many to go. Oh boy, one to go, and here come some lap cars. That is the number four, and the number zero nine. Yeah, Marco Diaz not having a really good day so far either. Oh, and we do have a microphone something. Okay, oh wow! Got more than two lap cars here. And they're about to approach the green flag. Well, we see a wreck due to lap cars. Or well, we see a very clean restart. We got five lap cars in the inside lane. As the pace cars going to turn three, going into turn four. And we are going to get ready for the green flag. And remember, it's going to get tight because we are less than 15 to go so this is going to get very interesting 
Oh, yeah. And ones that might fall victims to lap traffic, the top five and maybe more. Green flag back down the air. Marlos Lockie gets Marlos by Lockie the lap traffic quickly. That's good for him. Could give him advantage for the win. Guys who are trying to take advantage of it, number 16 being one of them. Morgan Henderson still being held up. That gives more time for Ozlakia to run away. Oh, Garland to the wall. He's going to fall back more. Yeah. Oh! Oh, boy. Hashtag lap track issues. The six has nope. dumped another driver. Yeah, that's two, uh, Voiles, that is two for Matt Smith. Boy, isn't me and Matt Smith is having problems with some drivers today. And that's two, so that might be a probation for the next three races. Yeah, warning to car six for aggressive driving. Warning to car six for aggressive driving. You better watch out, or Mercedes-Benz might get bent by the officials. Uh. Tend to go out the line. Should be very fun. Who is going to win it? Caution is out for the net for I think the third time. We get one of the boilers in P3. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, Voiles fell back to six on that restart. Due to lap traffic. And I believe, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I, I, I don't remember. It's either five to go or ten to go when the lap, we, we did not go single, when we do not go double file. 10, 10, 10. So, that means that the lap traffic will stay in line. So that's gonna... Not only that. So that's gonna hurt Voiles and everyone else that's behind all that lap traffic. Unlike Morgan Henderson and uh, Robert Oslakia and Ryan Boyer who got around the lap traffic. Oh, yeah, so that means we probably have three contenders left on the racetrack. That means there's a two and three chance that a Chevy's gonna win. Bye bye, Miss American Pie. Might see one of those Chevys in victory lane. That. Uh, maybe. Me. Might. Good old Pepsi Cola Might. in my mouth. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's see. I hopefully we're gonna go green, uh, one to go this time by. Um, well, let's take a run through of the drivers. First is Robert Oslakia. Second, Morgan Henderson. Third, Ryan, Ronnie Boyer. Fourth, Trent Reynolds. Fifth, Alexander Van Dam. Sixth, Daniel Boyle. Seventh, Kaylee Rankin. Eighth, Andy Einstein. Ninth, Ten, Philip Parker. I haven't talked about him lately. Set. Oh my God. Blake rocks up to eleven. He is. He. Is, I think he's today's big mover of the race so far. Twelfth is Cameron Garlington. Thirteenth, Ashley Reynolds. Fourteenth, Ian Dutta. And fifteenth is Ish Taylor. That's your top fifteen rundown. One to go. So we're gonna have. Seven laps to go at the line when we restart. So, seven to go, seven to go. This is gonna get an interest, this is gonna get interesting. Driver's gonna be a lot more aggressive. Yeah, definitely. Especially with the top three, realizing that those are the only guys left that could be in contention. Well, we're about to find out if it will be a Chevy or 
a Nissan or will the lap car spoil the party and let the drivers behind all of them get by? You never know. That could be an unlikely chance going down to seven laps to go. We do have room for two more cautions before this race is over. So what will happen though, head of the wreck fest or will end with a three car battle for the win. And we're gonna have green flag. Let's go back racing, who will win? Ronnie Boyer steps out, tries to get by Morgan Henderson. Yep, we're talking about the Boyer brothers. Here comes one of them to try to take the runner off his back. Marcos Lockia tries to speed away. Ooh, Garlington got way wide over there. Once again. Might want to be careful, otherwise he might find the caution. Robert Oslakia pulling away a little bit. Oh, there we go! Kaylee Rankin involved! Marco oh, Diaz! This is big. Caution's out, mate. Uh, that might be the race. That might possibly be the race. As we get a new second place driver. Ryan, Bo Ronnie Boyer. Yep, I almost said Ryan Boyer. Ron, it is Ronnie. Uh, I almost said Ryan Boyer, oh. not Ronnie. So good thing I caught myself before yeah. saying that. Otherwise it would have been another derp for me and we put down the derp count. Huh? Cause I'm good at derping folks. Aren't we all? Okay, so. <laughs> oh, look, William Brock in the top 10. Oh my gosh, William Brock in the oh, top wow. 10. Let's hear radio communications with William Brock and crew. Well, good buddy, I think that might be the end of the race. And you got gone all the way from the back to up in the top 10. So, good job there, buddy. 10-4, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I just want to thank you guys so much. We worked so hard working on this. 10-4. Okay, Daniel, there might be some drivers that might not make it on fuel, if you ask me. Oh, William Brock has damage. Oh, wow. And we just... Oh, wow. It. Wow, Marco Diaz. Wow. And he wrecks William Brock. Incident involving cars 7 and 09 currently under investigation. What in the world was that? That might be the So that means that William Brock is. is 11th, not 10th. That is not good. Not what William Brock needed. Wow. Oh, Driver of car 09 has been slapped with a 30 second time penalty for causing a collision under the yellow. That adds up to 45 seconds. I want to say, add an insult to injury for the 0 9 And he's out so anyway. He the, the 0-9's out of the race. So it wouldn't really matter much for him anyway. Just a meeting with the officials and that'd be done. Okay, Daniel, they're talking about maybe parking the 0-9 for next race. That's what he gets for trying to be an idiot towards... Uh, everybody because I don't know what he was thinking decided to run the back of the seven for no reason or yellow understood mate uh, that was kind of selfish on his part if you ask me but uh, good job we got p6 we'll take it um, I think the race is definitely gonna end under yellow so uh, congrats to Robert and congrats to Chip Ganassi their first career win in the series and at least we don't have to worry about him contaminating Victory Lane, if you ask me. Instead, he'll be fishing in Victory Lane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Who knows? He could have a prepare for a stinky and fishy Victory Lane. Oh, yeah. It will, it will still be stinky, but because, not stinky, am I right? Because fish that are dead are stinky. That's why it'd be stinky and fishy in Victory Lane. And then people be like, what's that fishy smell? Hey, 
Get it? The fishy smell? Yeah. No. Okay, mate, there may be interviews from the bit, just anymore. keep that in mind. White flag, mate, white flag. Don't forget, uh, the bit people will interview both you and Mr. Seven Car. Yeah. No, I was gonna say, very tough break for William Brock. Was on his way to a top 10, but thinks of that incident. His crew might also have to go down in a holler to explain their story against Marco Diaz and the Z09 as well. So uh, let's hear Reedy. Okay, guys, there's uh, there's a uh, there's gonna there's a big fight down there in the pit lane between the seven and the O nine crew. Oh boy! In the oh wow! I just saw a punch from one of the crew members straight to the O nine. Boom! 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 Wow! Th this is a yep. major, this is a major fight on pit road. And since this is the final lap, they will not be pulling out the red flag for conflict only because this race is about to end in a couple of turns. Otherwise, if this would have been 10 laps to go, then they would have red flagged it for conflict. Yeah. But it sounds like the, they're still trying to separate the fight. And, yeah, that will pretty much end it here. Check and flag Good for Robert Oslakia. Robert Oslakia. Division 1. As I am hearing from some of the PCS array officials, that crew, driver, and owner of the number seven to the holler right after this race, as along with the number zero nine. Oh man, that is going to be one interesting thing to untangle, that's for sure. Oh yeah. That would be after. That would be after Division Three. Just letting you all know about that. Okay. Thank and the you, and the reason why is no that's Patrick Watson not Voiles. Oh sorry, thank you Wilson on that update. Watson. Oh Watson. <laughs> Cody, you need your lesson on how to speak to me. I am Mr. Watson and I'm better than you. Sorry. You silly little head joke, mate. <laughs> yeah. <I'm laughs> yeah, that's a huge dirt moment right there. He's dead more than he's dead with watermelon who tried to cuddle him in bed last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dirt count up to two. Two or three. Uh-huh. I don't know. There should really be a big dirt debate between me and the old king, that's for sure. But Robert Oslakia with a victory. Ronnie Boyer in second. Morgan Henderson, third. A. Van Dam. Alexandria Van Dam. Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't know the first name. <laughs> and then Reynolds finishing in fifth. They get <laughs> Daniel Poyo, sixth. Annie Einstein, seventh. Anne Marie, <laughs> Kenny Rickens. Kaylee. Kaylee, dang it. <laughs> Nine. And Philip Parker <laughs> wrapping up the top ten. And there's William Brock who could have finished in the top ten. He's going to have to settle for 11th, and yes. And end up having a what the heck? Quadruple. Why the quadruple? Oh, man. I am the new dirt president of the United States. Good Lord. As I am back. Voils. Yeah. I'm down here with Voils by the pit road. Royals, uh, great finish in sixth. Um, how was your car today? I have to say the Hyundai Sonata was pretty, was pretty fast this weekend. You know, we really just played our cards and uh, you know, good run for our Gatorade uh, Sonata. But as you can look at the uh, drivers that did not have good points results at uh, Daytona, Atlanta, and Las Vegas, you know, this is good uh, runs for them. You know, like. Um, as I'm looking through the rest of the results, but uh, a couple of people that I'm kind of disappointed to see having a bad result, you know, Leela Bakai, who, uh, which by the way, if anyone didn't know, her team moved from Hawaii to California. So that way they can get, be closer to the track than be so far away. But, uh, you know, disappointed to see her out of the race, you know, a couple of other drivers who are running well in points, 
you know, depending what happens in divisions two and three, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen to those mates heading in auto club next week. Well, uh, yes. Good luck in the next race. Well, good luck at uh, auto club and uh, hope you win. Thanks. Yep, and I just saw William Brock coming out of his car. Luckily, no bruises or scratches because he was not involved in the fight. Because he was in the car. He's <laughs> coming out of the booth. All right, William Brock. Unfortunately, due to the incident to the Z09, you did not finish your top 10, but you still finish 11th. That is 31 positions higher than where you started. What are you going to say for your overall performance here today? Yeah, I, I just got to say, I'm very, I'm very proud of my team, you know, for helping me get through this whole race. You know, we, we, you know, we were hoping to qualify good, but, you know, it didn't end up happening. But, you know, we managed to get 11th, and unfortunately, even though we didn't finish in top 10, it's still a good finish for us. So, just want to thank my team and all the all my fans out there for supporting me and getting me through this whole race. Oh yeah! Not only that, some the biggest and hottest question to you right now from some of these interviewers are asking, "What are your views on the late race caution with Marco Diaz with that incident?" Going into the checker flag. Well, yeah, I'd, uh, I mean, I was, I was, I was just, you know, being in the cool down lab just like everyone else, and then all of a sudden, you know, Dia just gets right in the back of me. I'm like, like, what, what in the world is he doing? And you know, you know, the rest is history. So, I mean, hopefully, hopefully, you can try not to make that same mistake again. <laughs> oh yeah, hopefully that unfortunate incident would not. Happened again like that. Tough break, couldn't get top 10, but heck, 11th place. You gotta give yourself a pat in the back for that. Great job. Thank you. Okay. As they are heading up to the booth, we are gonna go down trackside for the burnout. <laughs> 